Hello everyone, Rogue Fox here, and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Today I am coming to you from the Truly Bedrock SMP server, because today's tutorial is going to be on the hidden storage system that you see right here behind me. Now for those of you who aren't watching the series, let's go ahead and demonstrate this. So the idea behind this was, well, I do have a room in the inn on the server, so if we go ahead and press this button right here, we have ourselves a regular wall, so it looks like nothing is going on. And to get to all of my storage, all I do, as you saw, is press this button right here. And this will reveal my first set of chests along with all my crafting stuff right here. And if we press it again, we have a little more storage. And then, of course, as you just saw, once we press the button one more time, then it will go back to looking like the rest of the room. So let's go ahead and jump into today's tutorial. And we are in my tutorial world, and as you can see here, I do have a stripped down version of today's build. So I am using the design from the room, just so it looks familiar. And as you can see, everything does fit under the floor, and I think it's fairly compact for what it does. So as far as spacing, you will need an 8x5 area, just like that. And as far as the height goes, you will need a couple blocks worth of space underneath your floor, so one, two, and then also two blocks above your wall. And let's go ahead and take a look at today's supplies. There we go. So we have 12 pistons, six repeaters, two comparators, two hoppers, a redstone torch, 23 redstone dust. We will need a wooden button, six glass blocks, 27 chests, or whatever else you would like to push, such as furnaces, crafting tables, Brewing stands. I don't recommend an anvil because it will fall down below, so don't use an anvil. And then, of course, your building blocks, and then you will need one junk item to throw in the timing circuit. With that being said, if you want to pause the video, go ahead and do that, grab your supplies, and then we'll jump right into the build. Alright, to get things started, we're going to go ahead and build our piston feed tape. So what we want to do is come to the left side of our build in one block over, place three blocks like that. Grab your repeaters, run repeaters out from each of these blocks, and then set each one to three ticks. Next, go ahead and run those repeaters into three more blocks like that. Get your pistons, and place three pistons facing up. Now what we can do is place a temporary block right here. Place your three pistons facing in this direction. So if this is the front of the build, your pistons are facing away from you. And then we can go ahead and line these up with redstone dust. So you can see here the redstone is connecting to these pistons, so they will be powered. And it will also power this block, which will then power these repeaters, powering this block, and then powering these pistons three ticks later. From here, what we want to do is run a redstone dust out from this block. Repeater running out. Set that to one tick. And then let's go ahead and run that into a block with redstone dust. Now what we're going to do is make our glass tower. So let's go ahead and do a temporary block here. So one... Two, that's three, four, five, and six. So your last glass block should be on the back side, lined up with this block like that. And then we can go ahead and place down redstone dust. There we go. So our line is running up now. And against this glass block, go ahead and grab your pistons once again. And place three pistons facing forward. And then go ahead and place redstone dust on top. Now what we want to do is place a block right here, a repeater, set that to three ticks, run that into a block right here, and then three more blocks across right here. Now what we want to do is place a temporary block up like this, get your last three pistons, and place your three pistons facing down. Just like that. So it should look like this from the side view so far. Now. All we need to do is place redstone dust on top of these blocks. And once again, the redstone will connect to the pistons here. So everything will fire in order, so we have this firing immediately. Three ticks later, this will fire. And then we have a tick of delay running up, which will then fire these. And then three more ticks after that, that will fire our last pistons, giving us our piston feed tape. Right now, we do have a skeleton of what the build is. So let me go ahead and quickly build up the room so we can get a perspective of what everything should look like. 
So this will be our floor right here and right there. And let's go ahead and place these blocks off to the side just to fill in the gap. And then off to the sides here are going to be the wall. So let's go ahead and do this. And I'm just going to follow the pattern of the room. So we have that dark oak with that wall coming up right there. And then we want a block here, dark oak. And then right here, this is going to be on top of your wall. So we can go ahead and replace that real quick. Put the repeater back, set to three ticks. And then these blocks up here are going to be your ceiling. So let's go ahead and bring that up. Bring this across. And then redstone dust, we can put that back. And there we go. There is the frame. Hopefully that helps out. So if we take a look at it from the side once again, we do have the beginning of our floor right against the wall above these pistons here. And then all this going on right back here. And then we have our top pistons facing down one block behind our ceiling. So let me give a quick side profile just like that. And let me give a profile from the front. So that is the frame of our build. And then we can go ahead and place in the chest. For the chest or where we'd like to place in, it's all personal preference. But we are following the pattern that I did in the realm. So what we're going to do against these pistons right here is place down three chests like that. And then we want three chests above it. And it doesn't matter which way you face them. I'm just placing them this way because it's a little bit easier. Now what I decided to do was have a wall. So it was tucked away within my wall. So we can go ahead and place in the wall right here. And let's place in our oak. And then right behind it, what we're going to do is we're going to skip this block right here. And then let's go ahead and place in our chest. And these are going to connect no matter which way you go. But as soon as we activate this, it's going to break up the chest. And then they will be their own individual chest. So we don't need trap chests or anything like that. So that does save us on resources. And then we just repeat it all the way up to the top where our oak block is. So there and there. So we should have this gap right here with our pistons. And then if we take a look down below, this should be up against the piston. There should be a gap right here. And then we have all of our chests. So we can go ahead and give this a quick test. Now the oak button is a little slow. So let me go ahead and grab a stone one, which should be right in here. And we'll see the chest break up as well. So we can go ahead and just put it there for now. So you can see all the chests broke up. And then we have ourselves a regular piss and feed tape or a storage system. Now what makes this build different from others is as you saw, once I press the button, it actually does a full rotation of three blocks. So this part is done. Now let's go ahead and work on the timing circuit. For the timing circuit, what we're going to do is place our wooden button right there in the corner. And it has to be a wooden button or else it will mess up the timing. And like I said, I will get into timings in just a moment, but let's go ahead and finish this build up. So we want to come two blocks up like this, a block over, we can remove that, a block down, block up, and then blocks like that, and then one more block up right here. Now go ahead and place redstone dust there because when we press this, that's going to power that. And then it's going to power all this right here. And then go ahead and run a comparator into that block. Now grab your redstone torch and on the block behind your comparator, place a redstone torch right there. Temporary block here. And go ahead and grab your hoppers. We want to run a hopper into that block. Remove that block. And then crouch place your hopper into that hopper right there. So they are facing each other. And in this hopper right here above the redstone torch, go ahead and throw in your junk item. Next, what we're going to do is place a block right here and then a comparator facing out so it will detect when the item goes back and forth. So to give this a test, we can go ahead and let's place a piston down here. I'll quickly demo the timing in this. So we're going to press it. So there's our three pumps that we need. Now, like I said, if we don't use a wooden button here, this is going to give us two. Just like that. So we do need three, and that is why we're using the wooden button. So from here, all we need to do is place a block down, and then a repeater right there, set to one tick. And there we go. That is all done. So if we press it, there's the three there. There's our next three. 
And then we have the wall. Now that we've finished the build, let's go ahead and take a look at the timing circuit. So this is what we use today, and as you saw, if we use stone, we get two pumps out of it. If we use wood, we get three. Now, if we add another comparator to this, that will increase the amount of pumps that we get from the piston. So with the stone button, that will give us three right there, and then a wooden one will give us four. Now, one interesting thing that I did find out, so we are using two comparators right here, but this time we're running it into a block as compared to this one. And for some reason, this gives us more pumps from the piston. So that gives us five, and then a wooden one will give us six. So depending on your needs, you can go ahead and play around with this clock as I did here. And to actually explain what's going on, I guess we can demo with this one right here. I have eight comparators, so I believe this lets off 15 pumps from the piston. So the mechanics behind this is we have a comparator clock, and as this comparator clock is running around, this redstone torch is going to be off because all of this is going to be powered, meaning this is going to invert. So that allows the item in the hopper to freely move back and forth until the clock runs out, and then the redstone torch turns back on and locks the clock back up. So hopefully that makes sense if we press this right here. So the torch has turned off, and every time the item makes its way into this hopper, it is being detected by the comparator and then giving us the power that we need. And there you have it everybody. We have ourselves our working rotating storage system and I guess we can call it hidden if we want it to be hidden. Of course these can be chests if we want them to be so we can just have rotating chests. So there we go and as I said in the disclaimer you're going to have some issues if you're trying to make this even numbered and also even if you try to make this five high you are going to run into some issues with the timing there. Like I said, I gave a demonstration of how the timings work. So from there, outside of this build, outside of this 3x3 area, it's going to be hit and miss, and you're going to have to do a little bit of testing for yourselves. Now, unfortunately, I may get some questions in the comment section about how to make it 5 high, 7 high, so on and so forth. And to be honest, I can't give a for sure answer on that. But what I can do is tell you for sure that the circuit that we did today is going to work for a three high area. And then, of course, if you want to expand this, all you need to do is add extra pistons and then run your redstone line over as well as your glass tower and everything like that. The width is really not the issue. Like I said, the issue is going to be with how tall you make it. And again, just to, I guess, be repetitive, this is for sure going to work with a three high build. So there we have it everyone. This is the end of today's tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed. This has been Rogue Fox and I'm out. I'll see you later.